Hi, I'm Bill Patton with USA Tennis Coach, and I'm here with Adeline Arjod Cook, the author of I Love My Doubles Partner. And we're going to talk about athlete centered coaching, especially as it applies to coaching women as opposed to girls or men. So, what are some of the topics that coaches need to be aware of when they're coaching women, especially in USTA teams, you know, and in clinics at the club and whatnot? Um, well, thank you for having me on your show. The first thing I would say is that there are dynamics that go on between the players. So you might have one student that is your student, but there are dynamics amongst the team. I think it's very important to understand the dynamics of the whole team versus just being the athlete centered for that one athlete, because the team dynamics really affects the game. So if you want your player to be successful, ask more questions about what type of player she likes to play with, what type of, which side she likes to play, why, why she thinks she's better on one side versus another, what she thinks her best shots are, what she thinks her weaknesses are. And what you're actually learning is, you're learning about your client's way of thinking, how she thinks about herself, how she thinks about her teammates, where her confidences are. Because the most important thing in tennis is being confident. And in order for you to know how you can build your client's confidence up, you need to know how they think. Some of us are very good at learning from repetition, hitting the ball over and over again. Some of us really need to see what we need to be doing several times over. Some of us need to hear it. So it's really important to see, to, to know your client really well, to know how they learn fast. One of the best lessons I ever had was by um, Robert Trogolo. He's in Austin, Texas. And in an hour, lesson, he let me hit the ball five times. He drop fed five balls to me. For the first half an hour or so, he showed me how to hit a topspin shot. I never hit a topspin shot for half an hour. And then he was taking, uh, then for the next 15 minutes, he took slow-mo video of me hitting a ball, one ball. Then he would take me to the video and show me exactly what part of the stroke it went wrong. And then I hit yeah. one more ball. It was so interesting. Well, that's fascinating because I think that you're unique in, in that you have the patience to go through that process, right? And so some of our ladies aren't going to be quite as patient. Uh, so that's just an observation about you. And then <clears throat> when it comes to the teams, though, let's say you discover that there's a problem among the team. And, and so then that's affecting the outcomes for one of the players because of a bad relationship or a bad something. What, how, how should coaches best address those problems in our mind? We are so powerful in our minds. That's my whole book, I Love My Doubles Partner, is about redirecting your mind to the positive. So as a coach, it's super important to help your athletes realize that we alone hold the power to be happy, to be a good tennis player, to be confident, to be healthy, and to win. And the only way you can really do that is by reinforcing the confidence level, by doing things that makes the clients feel good about themselves. So much like you do with a junior, you build up their confidence, it needs to be done with adults too. I think it's one of the biggest things that are overlooked in coaching for adults. If you see your student is slouching a little bit or feeling bad because they're missing a shot or being really tough on themselves, elevate them. Make them realize, oh, it was, it was only a couple of inches you missed it. A little higher on the finish and that would have gone over. If you do that positive feedback over and over, same thing with difficult people on the team. It's the same as windy or sunny. It's the, they're all the same thing. You have to teach the student to deal with difficult people because it's always going to be there. It's a condition that's always going to be there. So what I would say is, instead of saying, oh, I know she's difficult, or you know, helping reinforce her negative belief, I would say, you know what? Wouldn't it be awesome if you were able to play with her, if you were able to overcome the fact that she's a little bit blunt, or sometimes maybe she makes bad line calls or whatever, you know, be the powerful one, be the strong one. Wow, that's terrific. Thank you.